Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some staff that you can sign to help you get roughly five-star coaching attributes in all of your training or coaching stars in all of your training. Now, all of these staff are like 4.5 to 5 stars. So you're going to be very close, of course, if you've got already staff at your club that are like 4 star. Adding these will be massively beneficial to your club. Now, of course, staff is very important nowadays in the real life of football. And of course, now on FM with the whole new kind of scouting or staff system. But what do I mean about 5 star coach along the board? So if you go to your, your training and then go to your coaches and then go to edit coach assignment. So you can see here, you can see there's like, for example, shot stopping and goalkeeping. There is two coaches working on that at the minute, but that's four stars, so that's good. You know, 4.5 to five would be the best. If we look at our quickness, you can see under the fitness, we've got Shad and Barry working on the fitness. One of them's four and a half star, one's four, which makes the, the, the workload light. And of course the coach rating is very good. Of course you can remove these and do these yourself, or you can ask the assistant to do it completely up to you but that's what i mean in terms of these these stars at the bottom the higher the stars the better training in that position you will get from the coaches we are going to be covering two members of staff from each individual part so we've got two defending coaches on tactical we've got two defending coaches on technical two possession coaches on tactical two possession coaches on technical two attacking coaches on tactical two attacking coaches on technical Goalkeeping, shot stopping, two of them on there. Goalkeeper handling and distribution, two staff on there. And also fitness, which is all along the board. So without further ado, let's get to the first staff member. The first one is Danny McGrain, who currently is a coach at Celtic. Now, it should be quite easy to tempt away from Celtic, to be fair. Uh, but this guy falls under, of course, defending coaches for the tactical side. So you can see he's got very good defending and he's got very good tactical, which makes him one of the best coaches for defending tactical. And you can see he's also got good determination, good level of discipline, and also good motivating. And he can also work along the board. He's got good working with youngsters as well. But yeah, you should definitely look at this guy for your defending coach's tactical. Daniel Benzani is the next guy who falls under the defending coach's tactical. This guy, of course, he is a scout. He can do a lot of roles, but you will need to tempt him as a coach, of course. If you do need to do that, you just press these buttons here. You can see that will put the, the stats and the, all the attributes needed for that role. But of course, he is naturally a scout. He can do a coach, though. So he does fall under one of the best defending tactical coaches. Of course, with defending of 17 and tactical of 17. Very good motivating, very good level of discipline, and also very good determination. You will need to be a big club. He has been at Inter Milan for a long time. So you're going to need something special to tempt him away. But yeah, he is a very, very good coach. And as you can see, he's got a very high rep. So he might want a bit of money as well. So moving on to the defending coaches, the technical side of things now. Now, of course, some of these staff members aren't going to be coaches. So you can see this guy is generally a fitness coach. Yes, he's a very good fitness coach, but I've got two better fitness coaches than him. The thing you need to do with this guy is hopefully he wants to go into a coach role. So the, re the way you do this is by offering him a lot more money to, to kind of have an interest in that role. So, of course, he kind of wants to be a fitness coach or a sports scientist. We can do a little bit of testing now. It might work, it might not. You might need to wait a season. It just depends what he does in his career, really. But, yeah, in terms of defending coaches, technical, you can see he's got 18 defending and his technical is 16. His motivation is not great, but he's got a good level of discipline, which is good. So, if I was to try and bid for this guy, you can see he's not interested. So, that, that, that little experiment failed. Of course, you know, um, he might have just joined or something. He kind of wants to stay in Brazil, so you might need to wait on this guy um this this wellington vero but eventually you can get him but he is one of the best defending coaches technical but maybe if you're real madrid or something you might be able to tempt him away you might just not want to go to england looking at his career he's kind of spent his entire career he's had a lot of clubs since 1988 look at that so many clubs in brazil is i don't think he's ever left brazil looking at this i don't know who they are but that is brazil so i'm not sure but yeah give that guy a look at if you can if you are managing in brazil you know this isn't just for people who's managing in england you could be in brazil this is the coach that you want to go for. Another Brazilian, so it seems like the defending coaches, the technical side of things, are very good for Brazilians. Again, sadly, this guy is a fitness coach. We are going to try and go for him again, see what happens. We are Arsenal, don't forget. But again, look at his, his coaching stats, man. Unreal. 18 fitness. We're not really looking at fitness. We're looking at defending coaches for technical. He's got 16 defending, and he's got 16 for technical. Discipline's bad, but his motivation's really good. Again, he might not want to leave. 
yeah, he doesn't want to leave Brazil. So, but yeah, keep an eye on this guy because a year later he might go somewhere else. He might be able to pick him up. So we're moving on to possession coaches now. Carlos Luiz under tactical. This is, by the way, possession coaches tactical. Carlos Luiz, who is, of course, another fitness coach. He is currently at Emirates. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. And I've heard of Emirates, of course, but it seems like it is a club. So, yeah, Carlos Lewis, we are looking at possession coaches tactical. So, you can see it's tactically very good at 19. Of course, there isn't really something that shows you kind of possession and stuff. But he is very good in the technical and in the tactical side of things. But he does fall down as one of the best possession coaches for tactical. Michele Salzarulo is the next one for possession coaches under tactical. You can see 17 tactical, 17 mental. Very, very good mental stats as well in terms of his determination, discipline, and motivating. But that is the possession coaches for tactical. Moving on to possession coaches for technical now. And of course, Flavio Tenius falls in as one of the top coaches for this. Problem is, is a goalkeeping coach. But again, there is options to obviously move him into a coach role. We will try it again and see if it works. But you can see his technical side of the game is very, very strong. He's also a very good goalkeeping coach. So make sure you check this guy out. We are going to try and bid for him, actually, see if he wants to move from Brazil. So he does, but he wants a goalkeeping coach, which is his natural kind of role. So a little tip here as well while we're doing this. If I want to obviously have this guy as a normal coach, if it lets me, I can't offer one for some reason at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why I can't offer a coach. Maybe I've got no spots left or something, but... What you tend to do is, for example, you, you select what he wants to go at. He will tell you if he's got no, no interest. But then offer him a little bit more money. Maybe offer him 4.4k. And sometimes he will do that, but that is the idea behind it. And I have converted like head of use to coaches and stuff before in the past. So it does work. You just have to be, be very perseverance with it. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Lushan Brightyasha. Yeah, this guy is a coach, a possession coach under technical again, of course. He has got 20 technical stat or attribute. His motivating level of discipline and determination are all very, very strong. Now, I know this is the one that you guys have been waiting for, the attacking coaches. So the best ta attacking coaches for tactical falls for Sergio Zanetti, who is actually a data analyst as well by trade. But if you press this coach button, you'll see it right here under the tactical side of things. It's got 17 attacking and 17 technical. Uh, sorry, 17 attacking and 17 tactical. Motivating discipline and determination is all very good as well. Probably one of the most popular kind of staff manager or staff now is Rodolfo Burrell at Manchester City. Of course, he is the assistant manager. So to try and get this guy as a coach is probably going to be impossible unless he gets released. But you can try if you are like Real Madrid or something to tempt him away. You can maybe give him an assistant manager and then eventually drop him down to a coach. But of course, if you press his coach stats, in terms of the attacking coaches for tactical, he's got 17 attacking and his technical, oh sorry, his tactical is 14. So yeah, that is Rodolfo Burrell. Maurizio Trombetta is the next one for attacking coaches on the technical side of things. So he's got 19 attacking and he's got 19 technical. And the good thing about this guy is it's a free transfer. Previous club was Juventus, as you can see. So a very good coup if you can bring this guy in. Albert Mayon is the next one for the second player or the second staff of attacking coaches. Technical and technical of 16 and attacking of 19 with a very, very good mental stats. Makes this guy a great option if you do need to sign somebody. On to the goalkeeping shot-stopping coaches now. And Alberto Grigioni is the one at currently at Lazio at the moment. He is a goalkeeping coach, of course. So he's not got any other stats. So you should have a problem getting him. He's only on 3.3k, which isn't that high. But his goalkeeping distribution, his shot stopping, is or mainly his shot stopping we're looking at right now, is very good. But he can also do the handling and the distribution as well. Very important to get a staff that can do each of these, which is really, really important. But motivating level of discipline and determination is great. If Alberto is out of your price range, you could go for Pedro Jaro, who is, in, is just a Ukraine goalkeeping coach right now. Got 19 shot stopping, which is very, very good. It's got 19 along the board as well. Motivating, level of discipline and determination is all very good. On to goalkeeping, handling and distribution now. Hugo Oliveira, 19 distribution and 19 handling, 18 motivating, 17 discipline and 16 determination. Free transfer, previous club of Everton, one of the best goalkeeping coaches out there. You should definitely look at getting this guy. Another unemployed player or staff is Chanov. Now, this guy is very, very good as well. 20 distribution, 20 handling, and 20 shot stopping. 
Of course, at the minute, we're only looking for distribution and handling, but he can do all of them. Motivating is not great, but of course, his determination is very good as well. Oliver Bartlett is the next one that falls under the fitness coaches. One of the best fitness coaches on the game. 20 fitness, 4.5 star as well. 17 determination, 15 level of discipline, 13 motivating, and he's unemployed. And the final one that falls under the fitness is Fabio Micarelli. 20 fitness, 18 working with youngsters as well, as you can see. I mean, his mental attributes aren't the best, but he is still a very, very good fitness coach. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. And if you want to see some more of these kind of guides for staff, you know, we could do physios, we could do scouts, we could do all sorts. Please let me know in the comments. Very important that you do let me know so I can add it to my list. Apart from that, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.